Say we've been getting a lot of questions about uh, knowing your expenses when you supply, uh, when you purchase supplies for the client. And uh, so, you know, the best thing to do there is to, first of all, make sure that you know the type of products that you're going to be supplying. So when you do your uh, walkthrough of the facility, write down the type of toilet paper, the type of hand towels, soaps, uh, and anything else that you're going to be supplying, can liners. Um, once you got that information, then you'll be able to take it to a janitorial supply house and uh, get some prices on those items. Uh, typically you want to try to stay with the same quality of product that the client is currently using uh, because if not they will uh, call you out on that uh, especially if it's a uh, toilet paper and you're using a lower quality toilet paper than what they're used to uh, you will uh, they will call you out on it so once you uh, got that and the person in your janitorial supply house has given you a price on that then it's uh, just a matter of going to the janitorialstore.com and using the, the calculators for supplies. So you could go there and use the paper usage calculator. You'd enter in the population of the building and then you could enter selecting the, the type of product that, that you, you're uh, going to supply and then enter in the cost uh, per case. So get your pricing per case and uh, enter it in, a, in the calculator and then it will calculate uh, how many cases you would use per month and uh, also the price uh, uh, for that uh, for the month and for the year so that's pretty simple and you can do that with a number of different calculators that we have on the janitorialstore.com so if you have can liners or feminine napkins or hand soap or whatever it is you just use the same process now once you know that uh, uh, the price that you're entering in the calculator is your price from the supplier, not what you bill the customer. So when you get a price from your supplier, you want to increase that 5 to 15 percent. Um, and that will all depend on the price that you get from your supplier, uh, because you don't want to price yourself out of the, out of the market or what they're, what they're currently paying. Um, but anyway, you charge the 5 to 15 percent uh, just for your managing. And if you can, try to work it out to where the janitorial supplier actually brings the product to your facility and puts it in the janitor's closet or the supply room. And then from there, your crew can put it, uh, you know, break open the cases and put it on the shelf and, and disperse it throughout the facility. So uh, that's really all there is to it. Uh, there's uh, not a whole lot uh, more that you really need to know. Just need to know the, the product and uh, get a description on the product because that's really where you're going to have your difficulties. You know, if you're comparing uh, toilet paper, make sure that it's a two-ply, uh, 96 rolls in a case, and, and the quality, you know, how soft it is. Uh, same thing with can liners. Uh, you need to know if it's a low density, high density, you know, and what size. Uh, make sure you're comparing apples to apples. Uh, like I say, as long as you record that information when you do your walkthrough of the facility, uh, as far as the size and, and so on and so forth, then you should be able to compare apples to apples, and the supplier should be able to give you prices on those supplies. So, and there's a, you know, you can make a fair amount of uh, uh, profit just by selling uh, product back to the, uh, to the client. So, uh, hopefully this will help, and if we have any more questions, uh, let's go ahead and continue our discussion in the, uh, on the janitorial store in the uh, products and, uh, and equipment uh, forum. Thanks.